we are going to dissect it in this episode. The markets will be broken down, along with the things we should be focusing on and examining. Is that Bitcoin's last decline? Is it finished? Is there a strong argument for us to move higher and aim for the $100,000 mark? On that, I've got you covered. We'll examine the ETF, BlackRock, Bitcoin, and the volume of capital flowing into it. We'll examine the XRP chart, XRP's position on Bitcoin's supremacy, and when we may anticipate our first move higher on XRP, which is approaching soon, people. Brad Gollinghouse isn't holding back either. Yesterday, Brad Gollinghouse was a very angry person on Twitter. He was giving everyone what they wanted. Where he stood in this election was obvious. He has now given Mr. Trump a checklist to finish on his first day of work. Folks, I've got you covered. Like me, take a seat back, unwind, and sip on some good coffee. Let's get started with a $74,902 Bitcoin. Excuse me, but Ethereum has risen 0.97% in the last day, closing at $2,822. Right now, it's up 7.14%. While XRP is a mean lean of 55 cents, up 2.21% over the last day, USDT and USDC have both fallen from $1 back down to the 99 cents pegs. The Bitcoin market is valued at $2,542 in total. I implore you to keep a careful eye on Solana's performance. The market is currently unable to break out into the $220 level since we are positioned directly on the resistance barrier line. It is approximately $188. As you can see on Solana, we are only slightly off. From here, where do we go? Well, it's really easy. Given the incredible last day, Bitcoin might see a minor retracement. For example, 48 hours. We have to make sure we stay above the record high. In the worst situation, we still want to stay above the dollar sixty-five zero 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 sixty-nine zero 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 range so that the adventure might continue upward. One thing to keep in mind is that Bitcoin will reach one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars is on the horizon, regardless of how quickly we begin the transition. This month, Bitcoin will experience a parabolic move. It will cost between $10,000 and $20,000 more than it does now. It will happen in the blink of an eye, and the target is between $84,000 and $94,000. We recently revealed that there are pack openings on the XRP ledger. The second day of pack openings has begun. What took place yesterday? The site collapsed because so many people were opening packets, but it has already been resolved. A few small back-end database modifications were required. On the XRP ledger, this is the first pack opening ever. It's something really unique. I'm telling you now that it's a really addictive thing. You get to open a deck of cards to discover what's within. People, there are more than 4,000 cards. As an aside, I should mention that we completed another entry for the XRP ledger. In the first, I think it took 14 hours to mint over 1,000 cards. In the end, they damaged the website. That was the level of demand for it. It's insane. She was ruined by Trump. Examine the map. People are attempting to promote the idea that he didn't damage and that it wasn't a landslide. The entire map is crimson, really. Isn't that crazy? Completely insane. Look, I don't give a damn about who you vote for. I invest in cryptocurrencies. I invest in cryptocurrency. The candidate who would do the best for my cryptocurrency was the one I wanted to win. That was Trump. Because eggs used to cost about 5 or $6, I wanted a candidate to win who would do the best for the U.S. economy, one who would help combat inflation and the cost of living, and make our money go a lot farther. BlackRock's ETF records record volume, and Bitcoin records its fourth best day of 2024. As Bitcoin surged to all-time highs, BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust recorded $4.1 billion in trading volume. According to the report, Bitcoin hit a record high yesterday after rising more than 9%. 
The volume of trades in BlackRock's IBIT exchange-traded fund reached its highest level since launch. Over 622 million net inflows have been made into Bitcoin ETFs listed on the U.S. spot list. That's enormous. Before the election and the bull cycle, we preached a lot about the institution's arrival. We predicted that the overall market value of cryptocurrencies would likely only reach $4 to $7 trillion if Trump lost. Since he did win, I am convinced that the U.S. is becoming the leader in crypto policy. The SEC will be dismantled and then reassembled with the right individuals in charge. Hopefully, Chris Giancarlo and Brian Brooks will take over the agency so that we can establish some unambiguous rules in this area. I'm convinced that the Ripple v. SEC case will be dropped, that Gensler was already packing his things and that he probably received a call from someone in Trump's administration informing him that he would no longer be leading the SEC and that he would have to find another position. Will he be let go? No. They won't dismiss him, but they are behind closed doors advising him to allow himself to go away and claim he found another job. Even though he has embarrassed the SEC and the U.S., they won't just tell him, hey, you're fired, and humiliate him. I think that this lawsuit will end as soon as he leaves, which will be long before Trump takes office because that will be the first step in the SEC saving phase, getting him out of office, ending this lawsuit, and ceasing to pursue these innocent cryptocurrency companies. Credible Crypto discussed his zone, we wanted to see you break beyond the all-time high. Remember that anything that goes up must come down, so we don't want to see this item go below 65000 Instead, we want to see it close above. The question is, however, how far will we come down on it? That's where we need to look, and it's the crucial point. Is this typical? Does a retrace make sense at this time? 100%. By the end of the week, I would love to see us maintain that record high for the weekly close, which will, in my opinion, indicate that it is absolutely time to exit. We have around three days to maintain our record high, and we are still a few days away. It is just Thursday. Is a downturn possible at 69, 71, or 100%? The worst case scenario is that Bitcoin will hold over 65,000 and then go towards 100,000 by the end of this year. I predict a fairly strong move in the latter part of November. That's what I want you to think about. Keep in mind that Bitcoin will go first, it will take market domination. After it does, it will begin to lose that dominance, and money will begin to shift into alternative currencies. To get things going on the right path, Brad Garlinghouse releases his 100-day checklist. First of all, I wish he had tagged Fire Gensler here. No delays on the first day. I am telling you now that Gensler will not be the head of the SEC on the day that Trump takes office. Giancarlo Brooks Gallagher will be appointed in his place, the Ripple v. SEC lawsuit will be dropped, and the SEC will undergo significant improvements and recover its reputation and rule of law. Eliminate the lawsuit, stop the foolishness, and stop the pleas about how much money you guys are making from Ripple and these programmatic sales. That will be the best thing the new SEC chairman can do. All of it, in my opinion, contributed to Ripple's reliance on the case, which was that Trump would prevail, Gensler would be removed, and whoever would take over would dismiss the lawsuit. Ripple kind of missed their deadline and delayed their appeal procedure because of this. Have a family dinner and get the Democrats and Republicans on the same page regarding the structure of the digital asset market so that a bill can be sent to the Senate, he says. You're right. Right now, it's the freaking Wild West. I'll tell you straight up, if Gensler wakes up and sneezes before he even gets a foot on the ground in the morning when he's rolling out of bed, he's going to drop a Wells notice on someone else. You want clarity, we want regulations, and we want to know the rules of the land for cryptocurrencies. Companies and institutions looking to use digital ledger technology and cryptocurrencies need to know what they can and cannot do. Finally, he continues, can we have some clarification that ETH is not a security like XRP and Bitcoin? He added it as well. Look, Brad is attempting to play the good guy in this situation. 
However, it is now well known that the SEC claimed to have investigated Ethereum two weeks after announcing their interest in the cryptocurrency. They claimed that nothing unusual or suspicious that would categorize it or need them to conduct additional research was discovered. Why not simply state that Ethereum is not a security since they already assert that they conducted due diligence? Bitcoin and XRP are our two assets in the US, and the only reason XRP isn't a security is because Ripple got into a legal battle and was sued for millions of dollars. People, just come out and finish it. It's that easy. Brad is correct. Brad's checklist should be completed on the first day, in my opinion. I do. The clock is ticking. Trump has already taken action. You'd better be aware of that. That man knows what he's going to do, and he doesn't play around here. He completed his laundry list well in advance and will begin putting people to death. 